I was going to say that today, today's big day out, finally there's actually a, a reasonable, uh, you know, amount of women up on stage as opposed to in the crowd. Sunshine on the window, makes me happy, like a sugar. you'd go out there and you have your guitars in your hand and there'd be bouncers going um thinking you were groupies, thinking you were groupies. <laughs> and we're like we are the band oh no you're with the band you need your name. <laughs> no we are the band <laughs> it's hard to know exactly all you can do is guess what was going on when you, we look back on why we didn't, you know, have more um, obvious success and why things were quite difficult and why the record company didn't listen to us and didn't really support where we wanted to head artistically. And, and I don't know if that's because we were women. It might be because we didn't own our shit. Isn't that true? Oh, we've had some real shit experiences, particularly recording studios. Yeah, um, the worst. That like the absolute worst of just you're literally paying someone to tell you that you're a shit musician. Yeah, um, really heartbreaking. We've always kind of managed to come through them and get recordings that we're happy with, but I think it wasn't till the last record we did, which we started recording what four years ago, so that we worked with someone who wasn't a patronising asshole. <laughs> Women artists still go through like the shit of like, oh, you're a woman artist on a stage with a bunch of men. And that sucks, having to deal with men in bands and men in the crowd. Um, festivals and venues are trying to be more inclusive as well mm. um, but yeah there's definitely still the same stereotypes and we shouldn't have to try and be inclusive exactly it's like why is it a big deal more women in politics more women in certain professions yeah it you know we're st I still think there is more room for improvement in just letting it be you know it is what it is I still think even to this day bookers are choosing token female musicians to balance out the you know the lineups that hasn't changed and they also yeah they also bring them on board because they pull a lot of people as well because girl bands have a sort of cult phenomenon following so yeah they tend to put them on board a lot yeah it's like do they want us because we're a good band yeah or yeah. do they want us because we're a female band and there's that fine line between celebrating yeah. femininity in music and, yep. and the female power in music and then yep. do i want to be taken on because i am a woman yeah yeah I, I sometimes think are you just getting me on the lineup because i'm the token rock chick like i absolutely have those doubts but i think that it, that doesn't really matter that's just your thoughts that's just your own sort of critical voice There's always been strong females. There's always been empowerment. There's always been rebellion. It's always been there. Um, but it's just always great to see the next generation rising up and expressing themselves. Some days you feel like, like, oh, it's awesome. There's, you know, there's heaps more women playing, but then often it seems like the women who do make it through are playing in a way that's more acceptable for women. Like I'm still not seeing what I wanted to see, which was like, you know, angry women playing punk, basically. Um, that still seems less acceptable in the mainstream, but maybe that's a style of music. I think in some ways, yes. And then in other ways, you just look at it and go, oh, fuck, nothing has changed. 
like we've never been particularly ambitious um, but we had friends who were like trying to make it they wanted to be on triple J they wanted to be on high rotation and they were told look I'm really sorry but we already have a girl band for this month and I don't know how much that has changed because we've heard similar stories from other young people that we've played with um, yeah granted and we didn't ever play our I'm a woman in music card you know it was just like shh don't tell them we're women no one will notice and then just keep going you know and now it's very very different so it was weird but we didn't want to call attention to ourselves that we were women so we were very aware of just like not we're artists that's what we are and we make art we make music judge us on that but now I, I see the things are different now and a lot more needs to be needs to be a lot more vocal outrage about the inequality yeah. I feel women artists are more powerful than men because a lot of the time they really speak about issues that are facing like everyone worldwide but being on stage together as a group that's pretty empowering and yeah when you're just in a groove and you're doing it and people are just going I think for me just being in the music industry from day one and doing it all ourselves and working out how to play our instruments working out how to get gigs and just influencing other women to do the same yeah I think for me that's yeah 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 a proud moment I always find in music there's a certain androgyny like I think women bring a masculine energy to music and men bring a feminine energy and I think it crosses over it's weird because I've never really thought about my gender like I've always felt quite androgynous just not really uh, identifying with my gender I've always felt like a creative being like a creative soul and people do ask me ask me about my you know what's it like to be a woman in music or whatever I have to kind of think twice like there is yeah. something about being a woman in music like I think it's sort of undeniable but to me it's a bit of a mystery it's like okay I'm a woman in music and I've got things to say and I say it in a certain way that a man can't say it and I think when you do see a female figure in the arts particularly on stage with a guitar, it does something to people. I really can't um, say much more than that because I just walk on stage and just people seem to love it. But inside, I just feel like a being and it's not attached to any gender, but I am in a female form. There is a certain power attached to that. 